Do you have questions on how to properly care for your pet? When is the right time to get your pet spayed or neutered? Or maybe you're looking for a place for your pet to stay while you go on vacation. Mapleview Animal Hospital. Dr. Bader from Mapleview Animal Hospital gives you great advice for your pets. Mapleview Animal Hospital on Panther Drive at the corner of Riley and 136th on Holland's North Side. And on the web at mapleviewanimalhospital.net. Mapleview Animal Hospital. They love your pet like you do. 1450 WHTC Holland's hometown station. The 50th Midwest League All-Star Classic will be held at Fifth Third Ballpark for a third time. Jim Jarecki has been involved in the previous two. He's involved with this one now. Anything can be drawn from the previous two that apply here, or is each All-Star game an individual type of uh, situation? You have different challenges. Well, Gary, they're all different. Uh, all unique and uh, this one especially is very very close to our hearts because of the rebuild since January with the fire and this was the best thing is that this was the goal that we set to make sure this ballpark was up and running full force by June 17th and we're going to hit that deadline <laughs> and you know you look back on the other two in 95 03 they were both special in their own ways and this one is going to be another special one probably the biggest thing though is that we're 21 years old now here at the ballpark the other ones were relatively new obviously two years in 95 and then 03 we're still in that you know stage where hey people haven't been out here before but this time people have been here a number of times but now they're going to come out here and that wow factor is back here and we want to make sure that the we impress not only the West Michigan fans but all the fans throughout the Midwest League. I also I do have to ask you about the fire situation thoughts that go through your mind I don't know Lewis the same thing and and Denny and the others involved between January and now it's got to be <laughs> like wow well, first off, it's about 85 degrees difference in the temperature. But, you know, you look at it, Gary, and it, it does get emotional sometimes because your heart and soul is into this place, just like your house. It's the two places where you work in your, in your house. But to think about 165 days ago, we were sitting here watching this place burn. You know, it, it, it sets you back a little bit. But you know what? We moved forward. And that day that Denny Baxter said, never in doubt we're going to play baseball, we're going to have the All-Star game here, it was even out of the, the question as far as if we're going to play or not. So, you know, it, it brings it all together. And, you know, it's an amazing, miraculous story here. And we're, we're so excited to show this thing off. How much was the All-Star game carrot therapeutic to get <laughs> this ballpark in shape? Well, I don't know about therapeutic. It was a lot of stress and a lot of time <laughs> consumption. But you know what? Again, it was setting the deadlines. You know, we knew that we had a deadline to do. And if we didn't have that, it would be like, OK, you just take your time. No, we had to press through this and get it done. The staff did a tremendous job. Uh, ownership did a tremendous job leading it. Uh, Wolverine Building, Progressive A&E, all the people involved in this was just incredible as far as getting this together. But I think in this case, deadlines definitely helped it. We got to the opener, and then we, now we've gotten to June 17th. OK, let's move forward away from the ballpark, Jim Jarecki, to the actual logistics of this game. What is the toughest logistics for you and your staff to get this game pulled off the right way? Well, I think the toughest logistics is basically playing traveling secretary for all 15 other teams in the league to make sure you get the hotel set up, you make sure you get the party set up, make sure you get the tickets set up, make sure you have the events that are going to impress the people here because, you know, you go to so many of these things, you're like, all right, what's there to do? We want people to come in here and they, as soon as they hit Grand Rapids, they're going to say, wow, this is an incredible city, this incredible area. And then we hit the Lakeshore, uh, they see the Lake Michigan. A lot of people never seen it before, and it's a beautiful night for that. So, um, you know, I think just a lot of time goes into it. You know, not only are you doing the regular season, but you're also doing this other event that we have to put on. And, you know, it, like I said, last time was 03. This time, you know, come around, it probably won't be for another 15 years because as, as we rotate around the league.